And there were shepherds living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flock at night. An angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news that will cause great joy for all the people. Today in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in cloths and lying in a manger. Suddenly a great company of heavenly hosts appeared with, an, with the angel, praising God and singing, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace to those on whom his favor rests. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let's go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has told us about. So they hurried off and found Mary and Joseph and the baby, who was lying in the manger. Part of the Christmas story. And as we look at that, I've been thinking about a question this morning. What kind of Christmas present do you give? What is a meaningful Christmas present? Have you ever gotten caught up that you you need to get a Christmas present and you get so frustrated you just you'll go get anything from Walmart just so you can say you've got something to wrap to give to somebody so you don't feel bad about not giving it to them. Christmas shouldn't be that way. It really shouldn't. Gift giving shouldn't even be that way. I think the scripture says something to us. You see, if you think about the characters in the Christmas story. You have the wise men, the magi. They got it right, according to world standards in some sense. They brought presents to Jesus. What did the shepherds bring? Did they bring anything? Did they bring a gift to Jesus? I mean, the angels told them what was happening. I mean, they had to travel a ways to get there. Couldn't they have gotten something? But you know, if we look, we realize that they really did bring a gift. Let me give you some more hints. No, they didn't bring a clock. And no, they probably didn't bring a mirror. But I think these things can remind us of something. See, the shepherds left what they were doing. They took their time and went and spent, invested their life and time with Jesus. You look in the mirror, what do you see? You see yourself. They brought themselves. They gave themselves in a very real way to the Christ child. And so I think as we think about Christmas, first of all, what is Christmas really about? It's about the birth of Jesus. I think we need to be willing to give ourselves, just like the shepherds did, to Jesus. We need to make sure there's time for that, and not just during a Christmas celebration, but all throughout the year. But I also think that helps us to understand the meaning of what it is to give gifts to other people as well. You know, we don't take time as we should with family, with friends, even with co-workers to, to give of ourselves. And, and I, think about it. What, name three gifts you got for Christmas last year. If you can think of three gifts, I challenge you to put them in the comments right there to let me know what they are. Because most people can't remember three gifts. My question is, if you had someone that spent time with you throughout the year, once a month, you did some together, they contacted you, would you remember that? I bet you would. So I want to challenge you. If you're struggling to think about what to give somebody, particularly someone who means a lot to you, do it however you want to. The cheesy part of me, uh, it's cheesy, but I think it could be meaningful too. Give them a nice clock. Give them a mirror that's decorative. 
and tell them how much they mean to you, the time that they have given you in their life, the, the, that you, they are just an amazing person and, and you appreciate that and that's why the mirror is there. But in the midst of that, and you don't have to tell them, just make a commitment yourself. Find time throughout the year that part of your gift, your ongoing gift, or maybe you do tell them to make it accountable, that once a week, once a month, you're going to either call them, you're going to write them a letter that may be a real letter because they, we don't get many of those anymore. Maybe you're going to go out once a month and do something together. But that gift of time, that gift of giving ourselves means so much. Are you really willing to give? And it, it, we say that maybe a lot of times we don't have money to spend on a lot of gifts. That type of gift doesn't have to cost any money. Yet it's so valuable because it's given of ourselves. I've talked enough. Take time today to think about who you really want to give a meaningful gift to this year. Give your time. Give yourself. And see what God does to bless that gift. Merry Christmas.